Number one, Marvel and Fox struck a deal finally. No Marvel, way! Not what you think. It's not to let X Men appear in Marvel films or give the rights back the same way that Sony did with uh, Spider Man. But what this deal has done is let Fox make Marvel based TV shows. Ah, uh, okay. I was. I would have been more happy if your number two story was your you number one story. You always do this! Story. My number one story! <laughs> the Hulk! The Hulk story should be your number one story. The thought of seeing X-Men, the TV show that connects with the X-Men films. X-Factor, New Mutants, seeing this, we're all connecting together. That's fucking awesome! Don't forget the universe is pretty I big have, now. I listen, as Deadpool. much as Fox, is doing a great job. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah, is doing a great job with X Men. Okay, go on. They could redo Fantastic Four on TV. I have no interest in Fantastic Four <laughs> or in the number one story. I will make I you want, love this. I, I will make you love forget this. Forget this. Let's just delete this. Is. The two first shows they're doing, one called Hellfire, which is like a group of villains. Remember in um, X Men First Class? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. First lot, the new lot. The, that sort of yeah, yeah. group, the bad guys. Yeah, okay. that was the Hellfire Club. So this is going to be a similarity to that. But the, these groups, that's going to be a show, so basically villains. I don't know how that will actually work as a show. But the second show they're going to do is called Legion. And basically, it's this one guy who has all these different multiple personalities. But each personality has its own power. As, okay. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. I like that. I like, yeah, that. like that. Like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's gonna be on a uh, Fox. They're probably gonna do these on FX. I think Legion was gonna be on FX. They were saying, which is good because it's a more mature. This is a channel that did Sons of Anarchy. Like All your right. favorite show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So it gives a more mature, more darker. They can do. They can not completely on the next Netflix level, but they can go more in that direction than what ABC's been doing with the Marvel shows, where they can't really do anything. Yeah. Okay. Now I have got an issue, right? And and although this sounds great, what you're saying it sounds amazing, right? I am yet to see the superhero TV show that has got me seriously excited and tuned in all the way through. Daredevil was the exception that that just and I'm I'm also it's Netflix. It's Netflix. Give the fucking project to Netflix. They'll do an amazing job. But as I'm saying it Fox can go in that doing on FX it's a more mature they can take that aspect that more serious tone. Like I said again, Sons of Anarchy, the shield amazing shows. Guys, you tell us was the number two story better than the number one story. No, you, you them decide. Against me. You decide. Okay, in hindsight, I see that maybe Hulk being in Ragnarok may be yeah. more exciting story. This is like your number eight story as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It Who cares about TV show? Who cares about the disaster? Of what Fox, we shouldn't even be. This shouldn't even be the top ten after what the Fox did. That's only Fantastic Four though. Everything else is good. Everything Deadpool only, looks good. They, Deadpool, yes, does look good. Yeah, yeah, it looks good. We haven't seen it yet, but yeah, it's gonna it does be look amazing. Good. It's gonna be amazing. Yeah, guys, yeah. Let us well, know what you think. Yeah, but this Am is the I same right? guy that also said X Men. Days of Future Past. Yeah. You, I remember when you saw the trailer, you were like passing up, you were like, oh my god, this is awful, it's red bull. I don't remember that. Yeah, I yeah, of course you don't. I don't remember yeah, saying that. Yeah, of course that. you don't. And now you're like, oh, saying. yeah, it's great. See, and Deadpool, Deadpool, as much as, yeah, it looks good, but I'm going to hold my judgment. I don't get excited about these things like you. I'm just going to hold, I'm going to wait. And you want to go in, sort out a number two story. Uh, sorry, a number one story and then come back. There is nothing for girls. Nothing girls happened this week. It's been a slow news week. And then Bollywood news. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one thing I can say is that uh, DC are making the Killing Joke animated feature. And it's going to be R rated. It's a Batman story where the Joker cripples Batgirl. Yeah, I've. Uh, and shoots her in the back. Yeah. You actually got the. Yeah. Yeah, they're actually making it and it's going to be. 18 rated, R rated in the States. This is an anime, right? Yeah, but it's gonna be violent. Not just regular violent, but full on R rated violence. 
I've, I've got the comic book um, and it's seriously dark. So you're going to see the Joker being the Joker. And it's going to be Mark Hamill, the Joker, the, the proper original Joker that we all know and love. Yeah, but yeah, this yeah. time he gets to kill people. Yeah. Because the one card in the cartoon he never killed anyone. Nah. So now he really gets to be the Joker. Well, if I'm not mistaken, in the card, in the comic book, he rapes. He rapes. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah, fucked up story. Okay. Wow. That should have been your number it's one. It's been a good three years since I've seen that, but that being R rated, I'm really looking forward to that. Is this your new number one story? This is number zero. Why are you why why would you put it at zero? What? This is uh, an amazing yeah, cut zero. off the comic this book. Is... Zero? It should be zero. It should be your number one. It should have been zero. This should be number one or number two. Don't like. After the success that you've had, <laughs> what? Just, what are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? Turning into mean, <laughs> mean, <laughs> horrible. What a lovely person! Eva. <laughs> YouTube Eva. Really Let me tell you guys, right? Diva B. So whenever we go to the cinema, or whenever I'm gonna go to the cinema, I always hook him up, I always say, Eddie, listen, got the day free. I didn't hear any of this. That has been the beauty if you can see us to get dark now. Our second take of today Friday. 16th? Steam. Probably won't get this up until the 17th though of October. Any stories that we haven't spoke about, let us know your opinions of what we spoke of. Alright, comments down below. If you like the video, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. I am Ed Reese. It's your boy Sardam. Bully Fool, give the link down below. It will be below, so don't forget it. Alright guys.